Okay, I'm gonna put on my stuff here. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Dr. Joni Liu and welcome to this week's episode. I'm Dr. Joni Liu, founder of Concussion Answers and best-selling author of Heal Your Concussion, How to Quickly and Effectively Get Back in the Game and welcome to today's show and I'm going to be talking about the power of neuroplasticity and really neuroplasticity is a very powerful force and it's something that we can definitely take advantage of and which we must take advantage of in order in order to make a difference in our health and in our lives because let's face it life isn't a, a set of random occurrences I'm a woman of science and what I do know is that everything, every illness, every disease, every injury that happens to us happens for a reason. And in the case of a brain injury, there's definitely a reason. <laughs> because the interesting thing about brain injuries, specifically concussions, is that some people get concussion symptoms without ever having experienced a blow to the head. Okay? So we have to think about these things because nothing is ever by accident and as I said I'm a woman of science I know that there is a reason behind every single thing that happens to us okay so I want to give some examples about how powerful it really is because here's a, a picture so you can see a picture of two brains on the right hand side you see a picture of a normal brain so it's totally filled out within the skull so all that uh, solid stuff is inside the skull you know this is what our brains usually look like on the left hand side is the skull cavity the brain cavity of a person who has very who has a very small amount of brain matter so the black that you see in that left hand side is actually cavity and it's filled with uh, with fluid okay now this is a guy who is a 44 at the time was a 44 year old French civil servant and he came in to see his doctor uh, because he had some problems with his lower limbs and for some reason they decided to do an MRI on his brain I guess maybe they were looking at um, uh, at uh, looking for certain parts of the brain that have to do with motor ability okay so I guess they were going to look at the um, the cerebellum and and what they found really shocked them because they certainly never expected to see something like this so his brain is actually mostly cavity mostly fluid and the brain matter actually surrounds the skull the inside of the skull but not filled in like it is on a normal brain on the right hand side of this picture that I have for you the thing is is that this guy has managed to live a, a very normal life with the small amount of brain matter that he has so it's quite amazing what's going on here okay so he's managed to father two kids he's managed to hold down a job as easily as anyone else with a full brain okay so think about that you don't need a whole lot of brain matter in order to live a normal life now here's another picture uh, yeah here it is this is a picture of a 24 year old Chinese woman who uh, came in because she was feeling nauseous and dizzy uh, this is in China so her doctors decided to do an MRI on her too and they were shocked to discover that she was missing her cerebellum okay so that's that black area underneath the hemisphere okay so when you look at a normal brain which is uh, uh, on the bottom of it you see that all that area is filled in you know the entire brain is there but in her brain there's a black area so there's a void quite interesting right so 
in her case, she, okay, so the cerebellum um, helps us with motor, um, with motor movements. It, uh, it receives information from your sensory system, so vision, hearing, touch, taste, smell, and balance. Uh, it receives information from the spinal cord and other parts of the brain, and it regulates motor movements, such as voluntary movements, including your posture, balance, coordination, and speech. Well, this girl was a bit clumsy, but uh, all through life, but nothing, you know, too bad. She was able to live her life in a pretty normal manner as well. I mean, we're all clumsy from time to time. Uh, she was probably clumsy from time to time as well. But as you can see, her, her brain was able to adapt to what was missing from her brain. Okay, so just like the other guy who had an astounding small amount of brain was able to adapt. So think about how powerful the brain really is, about how powerful neuroplasticity is, because he was able to do everything that he needed to do in order to live a normal life with such a small amount of brain. So think about how adaptable the brain is. And we come back to this. And the thing is, is that there was a little boy who was born with just 2% of his brain intact. And um, I guess the doctors knew before he was born that there was a big problem. And they predicted that he wouldn't survive. And I think he's four years old now. And this year, they actually... Fox TV actually made a documentary about his life. The thing is, is that, yeah, you know, he's, he's, got, um, he's got definitely, you know, big um, health problems. I think he's suffering from spinal bifida. He, he can't walk, but, you know, he can see everything. He's got a really nice smile, this little boy. And so they're going to be documenting his life in, in a show called The Boy With No Brain this coming fall. Now, the thing is, is that what's really astounded his doctors is the fact that his brain has started to grow. And it's growing at a pretty enormous rate. So no long, you know, So he hasn't just survived, but he's thriving. And um, his, his parents, his siblings, you know, everybody is very dedicated to him. And he's a very happy little boy. And he's survived, even though all the odds were totally against him for survival, never mind thriving. But the thing is, his brain has adapted. Even that 2% has adapted and now... He's had a totally different idea from what everybody else has thought. And he is here on this earth to show us the way that, yes, there's always a way. We can adapt and we can thrive as well. So think about it. You know, when it comes to your own concussion or brain injury, the thing is, is that you can make changes to it. You can make changes to your brain consciously by the way you think about your life, about changing the thoughts that you have about your life, about changing the perceptions that you have about your life, and going for the good things in your life instead of, you know, drowning yourself in the bad news of your life. You know, that's all I deliver in my show is good news. I don't, I will never harp on the bad things that people are talking about out there in the world because I know it's not going to do me any good and it's certainly not going to do you any good, okay? I only focus personally and I set a good example on only the good things that are happening in life because there are a lot of things going on. It's not just the crap that you hear on the news, okay? It's not the crap, that's not life. Okay, what the, what the media tells you about, they're trying to control you. They're trying to tell you how to think. But I'm telling you that it's better that you choose how you're going to think. And that 
the better and the better things that you look forward to, you know, making goals and taking the steps to achieve those goals, those are the things that are going to make a big difference to your life, not the things that other people, uh, the bad things that are going on in life that people are telling you to pay attention to, okay? So I'm suggesting to you very strongly to stop paying attention to what other people are trying to brainwash you into thinking about that life is hard, that that evil is predominant in our lives. No, it's not. It's not. It's not predominant. There's a lot of good. So you have the power to choose. You have the power of neuroplasticity on your side. And remember, neuroplasticity works both ways. You're either growing your brain and, and making it better and making a full recovery, or you're making it shrink because you're stressed out. <laughs> and there's absolute scientific evidence of this sort of thing happening, okay? So remember, I'm a woman of science, and, uh, and what I know is that there is a reason for every injury, every disease that happens in a person's life, okay? So if you or someone is suffering from PCS or from a concussion right now, then please direct them to Amazon.com to pick up my best-selling book, Heal Your Concussion, How to Quickly and Effectively Get Back in the Game. And I'll see you next week with another good news story. Okay? Bye.